Hey guys, it's Wolf Maiden, and today I'm going to be showing you a, another crochet tutorial for a cord or a cord belt. The cord looks like this. It can be used for a variety of different things, including as a belt, but also as normal cord. So something that you would use to tie things or, or hold weight, that kind of thing. So it's got a lot of uses. I'm going to show you today how to do the cord itself and then how to add optional tassels on the end if you're just going for a belt or you just want tassels on the end of it. And yeah, here we go. So first you're gonna need some medium weight yarn. I'm using Red Heart acrylic yarn. You're also going to need scissors, a 5.5 or six millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle, and a way to measure. I'm using the Red Heart Super Saver brand in the color Woodsy for the example for what you need. But here I'm using Big Twist yarn in the taupe color as an example. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make a slip knot. You can copy what I'm doing here, or you can go ahead and do it however you're comfortable. Next, you're gonna go ahead and put your crochet hook into that slip knot that you just made. And to start, you're gonna go ahead and chain two, one, and two. Then you'll have these two V's. You can kind of see them there. Those are your chains. And you're gonna go into that first chain that you made. Then you wanna yarn over and pull the thread through. You'll have two loops and then just yarn over and pull the yarn through that. And that's the beginning. Then you're gonna turn your work slightly clockwise until you get to this other loop. You're gonna put your crochet hook through that yarn over, and then pull through both loops. Now you're gonna turn your work again. This time you should have two loops to go underneath, and you're gonna stick your crochet hook into those two loops. It's a little tough, make sure you're doing loose stitches to make it easier or use a bigger hook. And then you're gonna yarn over, pull through those first two, then yarn over and pull through the next two and you're gonna keep turning your work and doing this, making two single crochets to create this cord. Make sure that you've got the right tension on your yarn and that you're doing loose stitches to be able to push your crochet hook through. Although it's okay if you gotta use a, just a little bit of finagling to get your hook in there. I do, so. So continue doing this until you have the length that you'd like. Since I'm just using this as an example, I'm gonna end it here. So what you wanna do when you finish is chain one after you finish up the two single crochets. Then you're gonna cut the thread. If you'd like to do tassels, leave a tail as long as you'd like the tassels to be. And then you're going to pull the thread through all the way, tighten it, and you've got your cord. If you don't want tassels, you can simply hide the tails on both ends by using your yarn needle and burying the thread inside of your work. As you can see, I'm kind of doing, you thread it through what you've done. And after a few times of doing this, making sure that the thread is secure, you simply cut the thread very close to where you last threaded through. Be careful not to cut your work. And then repeat that on the other side and you're done with your tasselless cord. Now, if you are doing tassels, you're gonna go ahead and measure the length of the string at the smallest end of your cord belt because if you want your tassels to be uniform, the smallest is all you need. Then you're gonna want to double that and make several pieces of these so that your tassels are full. I recommend five or even six, depending on how full you want your tassels to look. I do five on each end, so I recommend five personally, but you can do more or less depending on how thick you want your tassels to be. Then just separate your yarn pieces into the colors you'd like on each side. You can even include more colors that aren't even art in the regular belt. Grab your five yarn pieces and wrap them around your finger. Make sure they're even on both ends around your finger. Then insert your crochet hook into the middle of the end of your cord. Then put your crochet hook underneath all of those yarn pieces and you're gonna go ahead and try and pull that through. 
I find that when you hold the yarn pieces the tightest is when it is able to go through easily. You're gonna want to pull the yarn through enough that there's a big enough loop to fit your fingers, but without completely pulling all the strings out. Then you want to put your fingers inside the loop, pull all of the yarn through, including the yarn that was at the end of the cord, and pull it tight. You can then cut the yarn ends so that they're more uniform, or wait until you do the other side first and then make them uniform and the same length. And there you go, both the ends of your cord have tassels now. Now here's a look at the belt while it's on. I think it's a really great addition, adds a little bit of color, it can complement things well depending on what color you choose for your belt. You can also braid it into your hair and you can use it as straps for a bag or to tie your bedroll in, whatever you can think of to use a cord for. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.